Chapter 3, Encounter. Not Outcounter, Encounter. Meanwhile, at the Toto Clan Chairman's office. あとは例のファイルが今どこにあるか。What do they have on Daigo to get him to like go along with this bullshit? さあ、あとはあなたがどう決断するか。それだけです。数日前の上の聖和会との構想。それに5年前の百億事件。全てがあなた方によって仕組まれていたことだったとは。未だに信じられません。だがそれが真実です。もう迷ってる時間はありませんよ、ロブタイム。私はね、道島さん。<笑> 極道組織というのは社会の必要悪だと思っているんですよ。秩序を築いた。そして極道は目に見えない外敵を水際で叩き、この国を独立国家として成り立たせた。だからね、私は警察だけが正義だなどという だが時代は変わった。本来裏の顔であるはずのあなたたちは組織が巨大化するにつれ本来の立場を忘れ表の世界に出るようになった。金を稼ごうとする者も増えてきた。巨大な組織には金が必要だ。しかしそれでは何か
Oh lord, what's going on down here? Oh? Oh, damn, the florist is there, too. あなたの目どうなくらいいろいろあってね。ま、あんたもいろいろ真島さんから聞かされただろう。お前の目的は何なんだい。俺のこと拉致して何になるい。まあ心配するな。すぐにあんたを殺そうってわけじゃない。あん
I may not even be able to do this anymore right now. We'll see. I want to go see if that guy down here still talks about that guy running from the ramen. He's not there anymore. Which makes me think I effed up. I mean, there's not bound to be as many people out wandering around when it's raining, so... Except for a guy who wants to fight me, of course. Dang it. Whatever. Let's beat him up. I mean, I'm fine with continuing the story. Don't get me wrong. I'm not mad about missing up on sub stories, to, like, at all. Trust. I'm very happy to continue the story because I want to see what happens now. I still can't believe Keto is a fucking double agent, I guess is the right word for him. I don't know. What a fucking punk ass. And unsurprisingly, you know, the two sides who are working together to screw everyone over in, in the Ueno Sewa with Katsuragi and the police, the fact that they're breaking up now and trying to get leverage against each other doesn't surprise me whatsoever. But it does make you wonder what happens to the Tojo in all of this, and that's what I think Daigo is worried about. That's what Majima is worried about, and that's what Kiryu is about to put an end to. He's about to end everybody and make make the the fucking the Kazuma Kiryu Police Association just runs Japan. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making shit up, obviously, but that would be a, that would be pretty epic. All right, let's f finish getting the rest of these. These level one uh, essences down here. Shit, I can't even afford all of them. There's so many of them. An enemy rising to his feet. That sounds good. With grabbed enemies near three other enemies. Oh, yeah. A en uh, multiple group enemy one takedown. I like that. Strike down your opponents with riding speed. While running towards four or more enemies. That's a drunken one. All right, we'll get, we'll get a drunken one another time. All right, cool. Next level up, we'll get some more shit. All right, well, again, I'm thinking the sub-stories are just gone now. Because it's raining, the ones that were available are just not going to be available. I think we're in, in we're in hurry-the-fuck-back mode because we're about to, uh, you know, something big's about to go down for the story, so being distracted by a sub-story just doesn't make any, any, bit, any lick of sense. okay i wasn't about to do every sub story anyways the only other one i would have really liked to check out more would have been the one for stardust but that one felt like there wasn't another step to it that i could figure out easily i was gonna have to like accidentally run into what to do next on that one. Oh well not gonna accidentally do that right now other than accidentally fight a random karata bitch and a random kosaka homie sit down ho <laughs> Stay down, Kurata-san. Kurata-san. And Iguchi. Oh, Iguchi. Oh, Iguchi. Oh, oh, Iguchi. Just give me what you have and leave me be. Iguchi-chan. You know what? Can we do anything in this back sleazy alley with Kiryu? I mean, this is... Oh, uh, that... that the vending machine is totally gone, and I didn't even realize it. Or at least, if I did realize it, I forgot that it was like that. Makes me sad. Well, anyway, new Serena's right here. Let's see what happens. Hello, hello. Is Yasuko-chan still home? Hopefully she is here. Uh-oh. What the? Date-san? Ah, shit, dude. She's gone. Tate-san! Tate-san! Good. Looks like he's coming too. Tate-san! Uh, oh, Kiryu. What happened? Are you okay? I think so. Guess I just blacked out or something. Yeah, blacked out my ass. You sure you're okay? My head's still fuzzy as all heck, but yeah, I'll be fine. You remember what happened? Well, you and I had a chat outside, then I came back in to keep Yasko san company while you were gone. Next thing I know, I was waking up on the floor used to you screaming. You don't remember anything else? Wait, how'd you mention it? Yasko san poured us a couple drinks when I stepped back in. Drinks? You think there's a chance she drugged you? Can't rule out the possibility. 
They're still on the counter if you want to have a sip for yourself. I think I'll pass. Anyway, do you have an idea where Yasuko-san might have gone? Not a clue. Sorry, man. Damn it. Look, I'm sorry. I was ready to throw down if some thugs barged in and try to take her away, but I didn't think Yasuko-san herself would be the one fighting me. It's not your fault, Date-san. Guess I should probably get looking for her, though. I'll be back. Wait, Kiryu. I'm coming, too. No. I need you to stay here in case she comes back. This is probably the safest place in town at this point. Right. Well, good luck out there. Thanks. I'll be back soon. Okay, so she just fucking drugged Date-san and dipped the hell out. Why? Couldn't tell ya. Right now, I'm just like, she really wants to see her brother that bad? Fun, Yasuko. No way but forward. Gotta get to Yasuko-san fast. Sure. But how do I, where do I even begin with this? Like, I have no idea. And no sub-stories have popped up, so... Uh, have y'all seen a girl around here? So it's awesome that it's bad. Ruins my hair. Sir, let me beat this guy up real quick. Yeah, pay the toll. If you want to get into this boy's hole. Get fucked, Iguchi. Didn't I just beat you up a second ago, Iguchi? Ooh, get it. What's up? Ooh. Oh, shoot. I got button presses. Yo, this is the one where you get to take out a bunch of dudes at once. <laughs> You're not getting away from Kiryu. <laughs> oh my god. That was an amazing combo. He literally took out three of them. Wow. That was actually quite amazing. I loved that a lot. Glad I unlocked that one. I remembered if you run a group of four guys, that was going to happen. That was dope. Get the hit of my Smith Speed with Gumi Chan. I'm so stressed I could die. I'm looking for anybody talking about a girl. Wait, wait, wait. Is that. Oh shoot, was it that easy? Nuh uh. Yeah, your laundry's out, we get it. Yo, Yasko chan, where you going, hon? Is she leading us to a trap? Does she even know where she's going? I guess we're gonna find out. Where is she going? That is a very solid question, my friend. Damn it. Looks like I lost her. There. I was going to say, did she go to Nadebola? No, she went around the corner, though. So she didn't go to Debola. She went around Debola. Debola Bola. Gotta catch up to the Yesko chan. It's like she's headed toward Children's Park. Why? Better go take a look. Were those guys running with her or were those just part of the accidentally part of the cutscene? Uh. Oh, she went into the sewers. Uh oh. Only one way to find out. Oh. She's with them. Yeah, bye. So those guys running ahead of her were them. Got it. Well, time for Kiryu trying to meet these guys. やすこさん。あんたは先に行ってくれ。え行くってどこにこの奥さん。奥。ああ。実はこの下水道、サイの河原って言われる場所に繋がってる。サイの河原。あんたも神室町に住んでたんだから。You don't want to go to purgatory, girl. You don't want to go there right now. あの、たまり場だった西公園の地下のことだ。Oh, they're sending her to the wrong place right now. Oh, 
追っての連中は俺らが食い止めておくだから早くこれはもしものことがあったら使ってくれもしもの時のためだからね They're sending her to a trap accidentally and then we're probably gonna have to beat the motherfuckers down with Kiryu just to be like yo listen to me bro she's in trouble she's in danger Two on one with Kiryu would be awesome. Akiyama, Tanimura, s a n m o k i y o t s u k e t e Ah, s o r j a o m a r o Ue no Seva Kaina Yatska. それとも宗像の使いのやつか何を言ってるんだあの女をどこにやったリリちゃんならとっくに行っちゃったよ何何あおっとダメだよこれ以上先には行かせないよヤスコさんには指一本触れさせないさっきから何を言ってるんだ俺はあの女を守る必要があるんだお前らに用はない守るなんだそりゃ誘拐するじゃないのそれはお前らの方だろ<笑>すべこべ言わずに yes. 2v1 bring it I love this どうするよ谷村さん口では何とでも言えるさあるいは今は誰も信用できないもしヤスコさんを追うっていうなら話し合う余地はなさそうだなああ Well, alrighty then. Hell yeah. I was wondering if they were going to clash against each other since we already saw Kiryu fight、uh, Saijima 1v1. Hell yeah. Shun Akiyama and Masayoshi Tanamura. Time to whoop their asses. Hell yeah. And they only get one health bar, too, which is amazing. One long health bar, but a health, one health bar. Damn, Tanamura get drop kicked, son. You can't handle all my moves. Oh, shoot, okay. Well, Akiyama caught my bolt. My, oh, they fucking got double clung. I love it. Dude, you don't want none of the cure you right now, bro. You don't want none. <laughs> Amazing. Double team. Clonk, clonk. I love it. Yeah. Eat that, boys. I love that I nailed that on those guys. That's funny. Damn it, he's got the counter attacks. I gotta remember that. He's Mr. Counter Man. No, don't, don't, don't. 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 Oh my god, I hit the freaking wall of invisibleness over here. No, 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 no. Stop hitting me, bro. I'm trying to fight your friend over here, and you're just over here ruining it, Tanamura. And as one goes to heat mode, the other one cycles to the heat mode. Alright. Screw off, Akiyama. Oh god, get some button presses ready. Whoop. Shook. Ha ha ha. You're such a savage, bro. Look at this dude. He holds them both up. Savage. Feel the heat. Feel the heat. Feel the heat. Feel the heat. God, kill you. You can't beat the dragon. If you thought you could handle the dragon, you haven't watched enough Game of Thrones, son. Or enough Yakuza, for that matter. Boy, you better put your feet away. I don't like that they got rid of Tanamura's body for the fight. Dude, stop with the kicks, man. Now you're done. Drop kick! <laughs> Alright, for the win. Aww.、Oh, damn it. Get up. Get up. Oh, come on, man. He's got like a. Oh, my God. With the leg sweep for real? Stop it! 
two level ups in one fight, put him down, cure you the man as usual. That really wasn't that hard of a fight, considering how hard it could have been. And of course, Kiri, you put those dudes down like it was nothing. <laughs> See ya. Oh, you gonna learn today. Didn't come to kill you. Just came for the girl. Need to find Yasuko-san fast. Someone around here must have seen her. Yeah, just follow this path straight through to the purgatory, man. You'll figure it out. Whoa, Kiyusa, I never thought I'd run you down here. Did you didn't even realize you were back in town. Do I know you? <laughs> Much as you know any, old, any other old homeless guy, I guess. I know you, though. Oh, you a lot, in fact. You helped me out in purgatory before the Hills Project kicked off, but then there was that whole snafu with the white with the Dragon Palace. Huh, well, all right then. By the way, you're going to need one of these puppies if you want to keep going. Manhole opener, all right. This doohickey here will open any manhole you'll come across. Oh, some guy came through earlier, pried the freaking thing over with his bare hands. Hardly believe my eyes. That's because Saijima is a savage, savage strong man. All right, we're in purgatory now, y'all. And based on the cutscene we saw earlier, Yasko's already in danger, I'm sure. I don't know what that lady was running with like her life depended on. It went right across this bridge and hurried inside. Yeah, it's probably not good. Um, I'm going to use my ability points before I go in here because it's probably going to have to fight. So what's left? Just the drunken thrust. I'll learn it just to learn it. I guess I'll learn this sword thing because you never know when we'll fight a sword guy and this guy is the firearm one you never know when a guy's gonna have a gun i'm just gonna learn all these level one ones i guess azure dragon spirit true stability guard against knife attacks fuck yeah last one will be fully charged with the blah 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 spirit i think that's the last level one one i don't have all right we'll finish off level one's next level up bitchin but in the meantime, Yasko-chan. So are these dudes all dead? Or are they just knocked out? I'm worried. I'm worried the florist is dead, man. Well, he's certainly not dead yet if he is dead or dying. Oh, Naya. Oh, Naya. A little bit late. Kiryu. Kiryu. Oh, and of course, these guys are right behind. Dun, dun, dun. Is that really going to be the end of the chapter already? Holy crap. Why are these chapters so short? And when I'm done with Curious chapters, is it going to be open? Where you can play as anyone? Or are we just going to end the story and then the open part comes after you beat the game? Like, you know, it's New Game Plus almost. I have no idea, but I must keep going. I must. I must know. Chapter 4, Chain of Betrayal. Chain of Fools. えっと、じっとしてろ。だろう、最近の刑事ってのはこんなに軟弱になっちまったのか。しかし、まさかこんなとこにあの大先輩がいるなんて思いもしませんでしたよ。ある意味ここ数日で一番の驚きです。何言ってんだ。元刑事が分野でクラブの手伝いしてじゃ悪いのか。いや。ただこの数日間毎日が信じられないような出来事の連続で。お、こいつさん。
どうだったんだお前さんの店の様子は、はあ、ダメまんまとやられちゃってましたよああせっかくコツコツ貯めた金だったのになこれじゃあまた一からやり直しだってのやっぱり金盗まれてたのかうん綺麗さっぱりいくらぐらいだ一千億はあ一千億本当なのかああ俺も最初は信じられなかったがどうやら本当らしいどういうことなんですか秋山さんうんいやね実は俺の店でっかい隠し金庫持っていてねそこに入れておいた店の金が全部持っていかれちゃってたのよ誰に検察というか多分木戸ちゃんにえ木戸ってあの新井の兄弟分のあの Yeah, that Kido chan, little bastard. This little Kido chan. Nine days earlier at Sky Finance. Okay. What are you doing? ロッポ全書か。やっぱ秋山さん頭いいんだな。あ？なんだこれ？おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
that still doesn't really make any sense why he turned on everyone just because he found the freaking money. Anyway, you really think that's how it went down? Can't think of any other way. Me and Hanachan are the only two people who knew about that vault. Kitochan's the only other possibility. What makes you say that? Well, it would certainly wrap things up ni all nice and neat. Everything would make sense. What do you mean? Not long after Hanachan saw him at the office, Kitochan got hauled off by the Hatsushiba clan boys who'd been working with the Shibata. Just walked in and spirited him away. Simple, clean. What's so strange about that? Everything. You'd understand if you'd seen that Keto Chan can what that Keto Chan can do in a fight. Go on. Well, it's only been once since I've witnessed it myself, but the guy can mop the floor with anyone without even breaking a sweat. He's pretty coy about it though. Prefers to keep all that under wraps. How come? It's better for the family that way. Most likely. A lot of more enterprises, more Kido-chan and RSN work, is a tiny speck under the big Shibata umbrella. Now your usual Yakuza outfit makes their living off those dramatic displays of strength, but not Kanemura. Why not? Didn't want to stand out, especially with the rat race always tearing this town apart. Guess that's just how he was. Makes sense. Safer to lay low and just get on with your life, rather than start bashing heads in. Yep. Kanemura couldn't even afford his dues to the Shibata. Came to me begging for a loan and everything. Spanning his turf and inviting competition was probably the last thing on his mind. I'm sure he was more than happy to keep his head down and let Kamurocho be Kamurocho. For sure. That's why Arai-san and Kido-chan were so careful not to make any waves. But yeah, Kido-chan's a monster. You think he let himself get kidnapped on purpose then? You bet I do. By the time I got back to the office that day, he was already gone place was more of a mess than usual thanks to the struggle. It was convincing, honestly, but one thing stood out to me. Which was what? The order my books were in. Your books? Yup. Kido-chan tossed a bunch of them around, probably to make it look like the fight went down, covers tracks, you know? But the ones that were still on the shelf weren't in the right spots for some reason. That's how I knew something was up. Hold on, your office isn't exactly what I'd call organized. Not by a long shot. Also, there is totally a shiny on that fucking lamp over there on the right. Son of a bitch. Are you seriously telling me you know where every single book is supposed to be on your shelf? Every. Single. One. Nani? Long story short, my pal, old pal, Keto, shot <clears throat> pulled a fast one on me. What I really want to know is who keeps 100 billion in cash just lying around in this day and age, especially not locked up. The fuck? Why not stash it in a bank? Don't trust them. Besides, it's not like any of them pay decent interest anyway. That much physical money isn't exactly portable, though. How did they get it all out? That's the DA guys who raided my office yesterday. They're the ones who did it. You think they were imposters? Big time. Katsuragi must have sent him over once Kido-chan tipped him off. He did say he had an endless supply of cash now, too. That would explain it. Life's a cruel mistress sometimes. Sure, you get used to the cheating and backstabbing and lying in my line of work, but when it all smacks you in the face one after another, oof. Big oof. You seem like you're taking it pretty well, though. Most guys would go into total shock if they lost a hundred grand, let alone a hundred billion. I am in shock. This is me in shock. It's not that big of a deal, I know, but still. Not that big of a deal? I'll just make it all back again. But... <laughs> hey, the week had its highlights. Oh yeah? I met you for one, Kiryu-san. Is that really so special? You're my freaking hero, man. You saved my life. Did I? I think I'd remember that. Just listen. You know when the Millennium Tower blew up five years ago? When all that cash rained down on the city? That day changed my life. I grabbed as much as I could, cleaned myself up, went from homeless bum to this, but practically no. Went from homeless bum to this in practically no time flat. If not for you, I'd still be out on the streets, digging through trash just to keep myself alive. That's the money you built your business on, huh? Yep. Though, now that I think about it, that 10 billion was probably the same cash my bank duped me into laundering for them when, before they had me take the fall. 10 billion jingo. Jingu diverted to the Tojo clan. So, yeah, 
This all feels kind of personal somehow. If this stuff going down now is linked to that 10 billion, consider me there. All right, for sure, man. That's an interesting idea that he was the banker that got that took the fall for that 10 billion going missing back then. That sucks, but it's kind of an interesting way to connect him to this whole overall plot. I don't know about you guys, but this is starting to feel like fate to me. Almost like we were all destined to end up here. Fate. Hmm. You might just be right. I'm listening to this softcore porn music while we hang around. Duh. Date. Duh. Duh. やはり奴らの居場所を探して直接攻め込むしかないのかいや策はあるんキリュシャン always has a plan always I can totally read that by the way おい、キュ。これって何なんだ動かぬ証拠というやつだ。おそらく胸方も葛城もこのファイルの行方を追いかけている。これを使えば奴らと取引できるはずだ。You should tell both sides that they have it and make them fight each other for it. That would be hilarious. Anyway, how'd you end up with this thing, Kiryu? Hamazaki gave it to me down in Okinawa. It's a document showing the creation of Penitentiary Number 2 and the expected flow of money into the place. Huh. Well, you look at that. It's got names, amounts, everything. Yeah, it says right here that the 10 billion yen that got transferred from the Tojo to Kyohei Jingu back in 05 was meant to get passed on to the, onto the Metropolitan Police. That's the incident you... you that's the incident you were wrapped up in, right, Kiryu-san? Right. That missing cash nearly tore the clan apart, and the guy behind it all was a man named Kyohei Jingu, Haruka's father. Haruka's father. But there's more. There are notes on here detailing a police plan to release inmates from penitentiary number two and create artificial crime, all to make the police look good. That's one hell of a scoop. No wonder they're so desperate to get it back. If this goes public, all their dirty laundry will be out in the open. So what's your next move? We try and cut a deal with Katsuragi. I just need to figure out how to get in touch with him. I can help you with that. He and I have talked on the phone before. If you call from my cell, I'm sure he'll answer. Huh. Mind if I borrow your phone then? Go right ahead. Oh, Katsuragi-chan! katsuragi -ka. タニムラじゃないのか。俺はキリュってものだ。今分け合って、タニムラの電話を借りてお前に電話している。キリュ、まさかあの四代目のキリュカズマさんですか。そう。One, <笑> お前が才の瓦から連れ去ったということは分かってるんだ。それがどうした。お前と取引がしたい。お前が今一番欲しがっているはずのものが今俺の手元にある。西島が浜崎と脱獄した際手に入れた例のファイルだ。お前が手に入
いいだろう取引の内容は西島大河と安子の身柄あと木戸が奪ったスカイファイナンスの金一千億だ<笑>伝説の極道ってのも交渉事は不得意のようだなそんな取引じゃ俺は動かない交渉ってのは心理戦だわざと相手に有利な条件を提示することで相手の興味を引き出すそういうもんだろうならどうすればいいんだそうだなわかったこうしよう今日の取引お前一人で来い一人そうだ一人だしかもお前にはボロボロの状態で取引に来てもらうどういうことだ<笑>ちょっとした余興をやってもらうってことだよあんたの好きな殴り合いってやつをね何取引の場所はカムロ町ヒルズの屋上にしよう俺は佐江島と妹さらに一千億を用意してその屋上で待つあんたには屋上にたどり着くまで上の聖和会の人たちに行くから来てもらう、oh, なんだと<笑>あんたが屋上にたどり着けるかそれとも先に死んでしまうか俺としてはどっちでもいいこれなら俺に有利な条件だもし俺が屋上までたどり着いたら<笑>そん時はちゃんと取引させてもらうよただたとえそうなってもあんたにはもう俺を殺す余力は残ってないはずだそれなら俺も安心だ<笑>分かってくれよキリュウさん俺もさ長生きしたいんだよあんたや佐江島みたいな化け物を2人も相手してじゃ命がいくらあっても足りない世の中には錦山や郷田隆二みたいな今まであんたが相手にしてきた男気あふれる極道じゃない人間もいるんだよさあどうする分かった行こう何時に行けばいい夜22時だ<笑>俺も死体じゃない生きたあんたに会えることを楽しみに待ってるよそれじゃうん、hmm. OK What's the deal, Kiryu? Sound like he came to some kind of agreement. Yeah, I'm meeting him with the file on the roof of Kamurocho Hills. Tonight at 10. Alone. Alone? But that's insane. You're not actually going through with that baloney, are you? I have to. That's part of the deal. Sounds like I'll be fighting through the entire Uena Sewa clan to get up there, too. Guy doesn't take any chances once he gets down to business, huh? You sure you still want to go? I'm sure. There's no other way. You say that, but let him go if he wants to go. Besides, I don't think anything we're going to say is going to change his mind. Isn't that right, Kiryu san? Right. A deal's a deal. Time to go beat the ass out of a whole entire army. Well, I should probably get going. Be careful out there, Kiryu. I will. Yeah, come back alive. You're going to go fight a whole entire goddamn clan. Kiryu, man, never, never fails to be awesome. I want this shiny up here, dang it. I want it. I need it. Dude, how close do I gotta be, dude? Just grab it. Jesus. Give me the shiny on the light because I want it. Well, okay, guys. I guess we're just gonna go beat up an entire army of Ueno Sewa bitches. Let's just go do it. I mean, you think I, you think I need somebody to stop me? Kill you. You on your way to Kamrocha Hills? Why am I not surprised that you know that? Ha! <laughs> It's all part of the job. Anyway, I know you already know this. But you can go to get to Kamrocha Hills via the bathroom in West Park. Doubt you'll forget that anytime soon. Yeah, thanks, Forrest. Okay, so he's just reminding Kiryu how to get there. For people who haven't played any other Yakuza games and they're happy to be playing this one. Now you know why he knows, I guess. It would be weird to play this one and not have played any of the other Yakuza games. I can't really imagine anybody picking up this game, you know, from this game. It looks like our sub stories are back, too. I don't know if I really care. I'd rather just go beat ass in Kamurocho Hills, to be honest. And that's the only sub story on the map at the moment. Yeah, personally, I really don't care. I really just want to go beat ass. I'm too intrigued by what's going to happen next to waste my time with this shit. I do feel like this is going to be the end of Kiryu's chapters, too, so. This all kind of feels like 
this is going to be the end of Kiryu's chapters, and there's going to be a final chapter where we get to switch between characters and do whatever we want. I still think that's going to happen. I really do. And if I can get to that point right now, that would be super. But we'll just have to wait and see. Because this doesn't, this is just, this doesn't feel like the end of the game yet. Even though it feels like it could be the kind of situation where it's the end of the game, the stakes aren't high enough for this to feel like the very, very end yet. Like, the cop side of the equation isn't being dealt with in this situation, so... Unless somehow intervention happens during this situation and the cops show up, which, you know, I guess could happen. It's not an impossible little twist to happen right now. But I feel like the build-up for this exchange wasn't enough to be like, oh, this is endgame right now. If that makes sense. Eat a bat. You can hit a fastball from from a from a uh, mile away. I don't know. That doesn't even make any sense. Well used bat upside your head, son. Does anybody want a milk crate? Is it just this guy left? It's just this guy left. Okay. Fukuoka. Oh no, that guy's not even down yet. Never mind. But he's about to be. Ijima. Night night All right. Fucking randos, get out of my way. That's 10k in the bank, though. Hell yeah. All right. Maybe we can get to the rest of the way unscathed. That would be super. That would be super. Thanks for asking. Just want to go to the park and whoop some dudes' asses. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I figure there can't be a last chapter where we can switch between characters until we actually get Saijima rescued and safe. And so after this point, after this current situation, that could totally happen. So, yeah, now that I say that or think about it out loud, it kind of makes sense that there will be a final chapter where we can choose between all of them after this part because we're going to get you know, Saijima back to being available to use again. I feel like the final chapter is going to be one of those things where it's like you can use any character or not use any character but it'll be like a series of battles where you got to use everybody. So shit, I might have to take some time to grind out some sub-stories just to get everybody leveled up high enough to deal with the end of the game, but... I don't know, the game hasn't been too hard so far. As long as I have the healing items, we can probably handle whatever comes at us. Alright, well anyway, can we go to the dang... the dingy dang... Whoa, dude, camera, don't mess with me. Alright, y'all, you ready for this? Let's do it. 